January 29th, 2019. This week brought Howard Schultz into the presidential picture. I have to say, I was as surprised as anyone that the creator of the iconic Peanuts comic strip was considering a run for the roses. Heck, I was surprised as anyone that the father of Lucy, Linus, Charlie Brown, and Snoopy was even still alive. Wait, apparently Howard Schultz is not Charles M. Schultz, but rather the former CEO of Starbucks. So, sorry, Charlie. And great, just what we need. The guy who gave the world the $4 cup of overly bitter coffee, where a small is called a grande, gentrification and the spread of barista culture thinks he's qualified to run the country. No thanks, Howard. On the other hand, why not? Democrats have been practically wetting their pants over the prospect of an independent bid for the presidency, one agitator even going so far as to scream obscenities at Schultz during a book signing. And these are the same people who would kill for a challenger to the president on the other side. Yep, things is getting weird. Everyone from the punditry wizards of the New York Times to party poobahs have objected to Schultz's likely run, crying that his candidacy will guarantee Trump's re-election. They point to quixotic campaigns from the likes of John Anderson in 1980, Ross Perot in 92 and 96, and Ralph Nader in 2000 as evidence that a third-party candidate will necessarily siphon off enough votes from one of the two major parties that the much-despised enemy will win re-election. Apparently, these folks believe the electorate is not to be trusted to vote in sufficient quantities for the least objectionable candidate they can scrounge up. Bitch, please. I've had it with being force-fed the devil's choice between one horrible option and an even more despicable one. Or as I framed the 2016 campaign, a choice between gonorrhea and syphilis. I choose neither. Look, a politician and a political party have a product to sell. Promising our guy may suck, but he's not as bad as their guy, won't move a lemon off the used car lot, so why the hell should we buy an obviously defective candidate? I don't know, Dems. Maybe you should welcome all comers to the race and duke it out to produce a better candidate. You know, a marketplace of ideas and all. Not just someone who's, quote, electable, unquote. I mean, Mondale, Dukakis, Al Gore, and Kerry were all considered electable. And guess what? They weren't, duh. So give me someone to vote for, not just someone to vote against. Shove another Hillary Clinton down our throat, and don't be surprised if we spit it back up in your face. Meanwhile, maybe Howard Schultz would like to sit down with me to discuss his policy, policy positions over a cup of coffee. Preferably Pete's. <laughs>